Fetagem presents a Final Fantasy IV playthrough. Part 7, Return to Baron. What's up, everybody? It's Thetagem, and if you recall in the last video, we climbed Mount Ordeals and we got ourselves a class upgrade. Our Dark Knight became a Paladin. Well, we've made our way back to Mesidia, and we're standing right outside the city. Let me load this game up, we'll head inside and see what the people have to say to us now. Okay, they hated us last time. Let's see what they have to say. You? A paladin? Believe it, bitch. Believe it because it's true. I said that you can't use... A paladin? You? Damn Skippy. Alright, we're gonna sell a bunch of crap that we don't need anymore. Mainly our black shield, our black sword, and some of this other crap that we're just never going to equip anymore. Bought this by mistake, don't need that, don't need these. We hate Gilbert, we'll get rid of this. And we got some leather shirts up here, we'll get rid of those too. And I think that's good. Let's get all of the light stuff. Now we're going to run out of gill here, um, I probably should have leveled up a little bit more on Mount Ordeals, but the next dungeon that we're going to is a pretty good place to level at this point in the game. Um, you can enter the dungeon and exit the dungeon and you're in a town the second you end exit the dungeon. So you're able to go in there, fight a couple of enemies, come out and use an inn rather than having to use a tent. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to use this sort button I forgot was here. Hell yeah. We don't need any of the weapons in the weapon shop, so I'm just going to continue on over here and talk to this guy. Of all those who tried, it was you who became a paladin. Hell yeah. Okay, don't talk to the dancer unless you want to become a pig again. Wow, you surely look splendid. You really became a paladin. Have one on me. Poison free this time. Thanks, chief. Whoa, a real paladin? How beautiful. So this is what a paladin looks like. That's naming way, don't need to talk to him. And it doesn't look like we need the inn, so I'm not going up there. This guy just tells you about the road. Please do not forget the spirit of the paladin. And the guy blocking the road still says the same thing too. Oh. Hey, you're... A paladin? What a surprise! This doesn't mean that I've forgiven you. Okay. I sense that you are laboring under the weight of your sins. I'll pray for you as well. You are a paladin. Perhaps it was fate. We trust you. Your inner light has grown from a faint glimmer to a radiant light. Oh, you're... He's a paladin, all right. Although I didn't think it was possible. What do you mean? I'm ashamed. I had these two spy on you, but it looks like that was unnecessary after all. Well done, Pollum. Porum. Well, that's basically the deal. I'm sorry we deceived you, but we had no choice. Deceived me? You helped me up the mountain the entire time. I understand. Considering my past, that was to be expected. 
but you purge the darkness from your soul and receive the holy light. It can't be. That sword. The light on the mountain gave it to me. Ages of prophecy, prayer, faith, and now, look, engraved on the blade, it is Masidia's legend. Legend? Okay, this takes fucking forever. I'm gonna go get a glass of water. One born from the mouth of a dragon, rising towards the heavens with light and darkness, a sleeping promise shall awaken. Veiled in the light of eternity, Mother Earth shall be blessed with mercy and salvation. That light called me its son. What was that light? I don't know what the light on Mount Ordeals was, nor do I know what the legend means. But we from Asidia are told to pray for this legend, to pray for one with the holy light. You may be that person. Quickly, we must defeat Golbees. Oh, Tella! It's been a while. We met him on Mount Ordeals. This old guy learned Medio. Medio? The legendary magic has been unsealed? It would appear so. I will avenge my daughter's murder with it. Anna? What happened? Golbees killed her. I'll destroy this fiend of darkness with Medio. No, tell it. Come to your senses. You're fighting hatred with vengeance. Casting Medio would mean your death. Even if my life must end, I must squelch this agony I live in. Oh, how I cried out when I saw Anna, lying, bloodied, my lovely daughter, murdered. Passionate as ever, the same as you always were. You're still ever the diplomat. Maybe so. But Sir Cecil has become a paladin. If the two of you fight together, you may be able to defeat Golbees without Medio. To possibly stand up to Golbees, we need to go back to Baron and get an airship. I understand. I'll break the seal on the Devil Road. Go to Baron. I will continue to pray for you and your sacred light. Farewell. I still can't promise you what I might do. Pollum, Porum, your duty is finished. We're not done. You told us to help him, right? Please permit us to go too. Well, Mount Ordeals accepted you and returned you alive. Wait, what? You said everybody that goes there to become a paladin tries and dies. You sent two kids to spy on us. You sent them there to die, you fucking dick. No wonder they want to leave, too. You must have a more important destiny that I cannot see. Yeah. Fuck off. I would accompany you, but I cannot leave Masidia. We don't want you to go. Trust me, we don't want you to go. Sir Cecil, Tella, take care of them for me. W wait. What do you mean by that? Do you mean, like, off them behind the shed, or actually take care of them? God, this guy's such a dick. <sighs> but, you should know our power by now. 
Right. Don't worry. I'll be with them. All right. I'm counting on you. Yeah, that's more like it. Calm down and let's go. Take the Devil Road at the right of the village to Baron. I will be in the tower praying for you. No, for everything on this earth. He's going to be up in the fucking tower praying for Pollum and Porum to die. That's what he's going to be doing. Fucking dick. Okay. So I'm just going to follow him up here. There's a little bit of dialogue we can see. These guys are up in the tower praying. The village elder has been praying in the tower of prayers ever since you left. Well, that's not exactly true. We just saw him in the other room. And he hadn't moved the entire time we were gone. We will also pray for all living creatures. Your fate is in your hands. All I can do now is pray for you. Pollum, Porum, behave yourselves and try not to hinder Sir Cecil. Don't try to give us direction, you old fuck. All right, we're leaving. We're gonna go call CYS. The village elder is a piece of fucking shit. I think they missed out on a pretty big opportunity here to have you actually have to traverse the devil road. But uh, no, it just kind of pans the camera around and we end up in Baron. Could have been a really cool dungeon there, but that's okay. Ah, home sweet home. Let's rock. First thing I'm going to do is go up to Sid's house, talk to his daughter. Lord Cecil, you're alive. Dad hasn't come back from the castle in a long time. There are rumors that he's been put in prison. Oh, God, I'm so worried. Please find him. Well, okay. I wonder what Sid did to land himself in jail. The king has hurt us so much. He was never like this before. Why has he changed? A foreign monk was put in charge of the guards. I hear he's searching for someone. Hmm, a foreign monk, you say? I think he's at the inn. Could it be Yang? The king is acting more and more erratic, and all those who oppose him end up like Sid. Hmm, Sid opposed the king. Rosa ran away to search for you. Where is she now? Uh, she's, um, she's hanging out with Kane. Don't worry, she's fine. Okay, she says the same thing as she said at the beginning of the game. Just gonna see what we've got here. Yeah. All right, I don't need any of that shit. I don't have enough money to buy stuff. I think I only have like three tents left, but we're gonna make this work, don't worry. I wonder if that Dark Knight really did die. I kinda liked him. The King's been really strict recently, and I'm not allowed to dance. What? The king enacted a no-boobies policy? This time he's gone too far. The door to the building in the west of town? That's an underground waterway that leads to the castle. But it's sealed now. Hmm. 
Well, we need to get into the castle to try and free Sid, because I'm pretty sure that's where the jail is. Looks like we're going to have to pick a lock. Dad says that no more customers are coming. And there are scary soldiers at the bar, too. Hmm. The soldiers from the castle are doing whatever they please at the bar. They say that Sid's been locked up in the castle, and he hid the new model airship as well. Aha, that's how he opposed the king. Hey, aren't the drinks ready yet? Who the hell are you? Other guy says the same thing, but this is Yang. Let's talk to him. Yang, you're alive! You! You don't recognize me? It's me, Cecil. I became a paladin. Cecil, I've been looking for you. Traitor to the king, attack! Yes, sir. Alright. You're gonna hope that uh, your white wizard gets a turn here pretty damn soon because they like to turn you into uh, tiny people. And they try to turn you into pigs too. So let's try to cast silence on both of them so that doesn't happen anymore. And with Tella, we'll just fix what's going on here. There we go. And now we'll take care of these two assholes. There we go. And this guy should be almost dead, so I'm just going to fight my way through it. There we go. Yang, don't you recognize me? I recognize you, you fugitive. Okay. Bolt is the way to go, so we're going to cast Bolt 2 here with Pollum, and we're going to cast Bolt 3 with Tella the second we get the chance to, and with uh, Porum, we're just going to heal. It's a shame, but Cecil really doesn't do much this battle. You can you can heal with him too if shit gets a little dicey, but we should be okay. Gilbert's a pussy. Okay, I'm gonna go back to bolt three here. And this should be all but over. Yeah, yeah. And don't worry about saving your magic. We're gonna get to sleep for free after this. So just give them everything you got. Sir Cecil, what have I done? I was knocked out by Leviathan. Then, Baron controlled you while you were amnesiac. B Baron? I've disgraced myself. What happened to Rydia, and less importantly, Gilbert? Rydia was swallowed by Leviathan. Gilbert, I don't care. Oh.
Where are we? We're in Baron. If the soldiers overhear us, we're in trouble. There's a quiet room in the inn where we can talk. And Yang is back in the party, folks. You're tough. You really kicked those soldiers' asses. I like you. Tonight, stay for free. Good stuff, because we are poor. And who is this? He's Tella, the sage. Gilbert's... My daughter sacrificed her life to protect... him. And Yang might not be saying anything, but boy is he thinking. Wow, what a dumb fucking decision that was. Gilbert is a bitch. But instead of saying all of that, he just says, I am Yang, captain of the monks at Fabul. I'm the Mesidian genius, Palum. Please pardon his imprudence. I can see why you're Cecil's friend. Both of you are Baron's puppets. What a dick thing to say. Pollum! Yang's still thinking about how Tella's daughter's an idiot. Anyhow, we've got to save Sid. But it won't be so easy to get into the castle. Hmm. What's this? This is the key to Baron. Yang, they must have given it to you when you became the leader of the guards. With this, we might be able to do something. And we've got the key to Baron. That's going to unlock a couple of doors around town. One of them, a lady in the upper right, told us about. Yeah, the underground waterway that leads to the castle. But first, the weapon shop. Well, actually, the armor shop. We're just going to use that key we got. There it is. Now, we're not going to have enough money to buy everything that we want, but that's okay. The next dungeon is literally in this town. So we can go over there, level up a little bit, get some cash, come back, use the inn. Go back, level up a bit, get some cash, as much as we need to, until we have all the money we need to equip our characters the way that we want. So, no big deal. You don't need to grind in the game earlier to make sure that you're here and have enough cash. It's fine. The next dungeon is literally right here in town. This is a great spot to grind, so keep that in mind. That rhymed. Hell yeah. Okay, same deal as before. Door is locked. Use the Baron key. And here we go. Alright, we see that we've got Lit Fish. That means that they cast Lightning, which also means they absorb Lightning, so we're not going to want to cast that. So, most of the th things in here are weak to Lightning, but those guys are not, so we're going to use Fire. I'm willing to bet that fire is going to be enough to take the two out in the front, so I'm going to cast Bolt on the two in the back. Well, shit. Oh, fuck. Alright, well, fighting is going to take less time than casting a spell. Hopefully Yang's able to do it in conjunction with Cecil here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Oh. We saved the MP altogether. Even better. Okay, all the way down here, there's three chests. I have no idea what's inside them, though. A high potion, an ether, good stuff, and wrath of Zeus. Now, there's really no reason to venture further on in the cave. I will a little bit, but uh, I'm not going to go to the next floor. 
We're just gonna fight here until I have the cash I need to go get the rest of the equipment that I want. Um, a really stupid move on my part was to not unequip Yang uh, before. So we don't have our two weapons that we had the last time we saw him in our party. Which is a big problem, because I'm gonna have to buy them again, and I don't have cash. No reason to worry about these fish. They're just splashers. Everybody here is uh, weak to lightning. This should do it. There you go. Awesome. Hell yeah, Pollum and Porum leveled up. Yeah, so as you can see, it's a pretty linear path. Okay, this is gonna be big experience and big cash. Good stuff. Bolt is still the way to go. Bolt 3. That should do it. But just in case, my two fighters I'm going to put on the alligators in the back. Excellent. Cool, we got a thousand gil. Cecil gained two levels there. That was badass. Alright. That's about all the farther. That's about all the farther I want to go. Easy for me to say. Alright, let's backtrack to the beginning. We should have enough cash to buy most of the stuff that we need. Maybe three or four more battles will do it could have done without the back attack, and we've got lit fish again, so lightning will heal those guys. Fire it is. Jesus Christ, I'm getting my ass kicked here. What the fuck? <laughs> this might be bad news bears. There we go. Let's just use the phoenix down on you. can cure with you. Good as new. Alright, Tella, do some work here. We need some help. Hell yeah. Good enough. I'm just going to get into a few more battles until I run out of MP. No sense using an inn if I still have MP. Get more bang for your buck if you level up a magic user.
Okay. This should do it. Gotta wait for my magic user to cast it. Here we go. Excellent. Really no new strategy here. Just uh, cast Bolt the second we can. go. And that'll do it. Splendid. All right, Cecil gained a level. Yang should be able to one-shot these lit fish. But I'm gonna kick anyway. Stay on top of your healing. Cast fire, and this is over. A scaby, scaby, fiddly be sweet, scaby, 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 and scaby, 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 fiddly be sweet, scaby, 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 and squee. That's for you, dears. All right, let's end this. Perfect. Okay, so we're just about out of magic. That's good enough for me. Let's head on back to town and use this in and uh, see what kind of shit we can afford now. Oh, 125 to the next level. I guess I don't get a choice but to level up. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess that's as good as I'm going to be able to do. be nice if Tello would level up. Get him some more MP. He's kind of badass. I'm not worried, though. This is going to be fine. We're fine. Yeah, we're fine. We already got rid of one. See that? Look at that. Hell yeah. Come on, Pollum. That's what I like to see. Piss off. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Great, Pollum and Porum gained a level. They learned Berserk. Cecil leveled up. That means he can cast Cure even more. Let's go.
Okay. I'm gonna hit up the armor shop, but first, I'm gonna hit up the inn. Okay. So the last thing we have to buy is this shirt. We have plenty of cash for that now. Good stuff. Let's equip that right away. Boom. Now, let's see how expensive these weapons are. I think I can probably afford them both, to be honest with you. Let's sell that shirt that we just uh, replaced. There we go. Don't need that leather shirt. Okay. Let's buy ourselves uh, an Ice Claw and a Thunder Claw. It really doesn't matter which one's where. Excellent. Okay, we've got everything we need. Unless you want to hit up the item shop, but I don't. I'm just going to head on into the next room. Go back through that uh, ancient waterway. And this time, I'm going to finish the dungeon. Let's go. No reason to go down. Oh, holy shit, no battles. Can we do the whole first floor without getting into a battle? Nope, nope, we can't. Let's see if we can do this one without magic. Yang is good enough to kill the fish with one attack, so let's just focus on the... Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can focus on the fish with everybody else and see if Yang is good enough to kill the gator on his own. Or did I just screw that up? I think I made Cecil attack the gator. No, oh, it doesn't matter. Hell yeah. There we go. Probably would have finished that a little bit earlier if I was more organized, but that's okay. Okay, this floor might remind you a little bit of Final Fantasy III. We've got secrets in the walls. Let's find them. I've always felt like that game is just... I mean, I love Final Fantasy 3. I'm not talking shit on Final Fantasy 3, and I know that all Final Fantasy games have secrets in the walls, but 3's the one that just seems to take it to a fucking ungodly level. Alright, I think that's everything over here. Alright, there's the Hydra. I'm gonna slice his throat and grab his scrote. Let's do it. case bolt 2 wasn't good enough there's bolt 3 
onward. Okay, hole in the wall. More lit fish. to put that on everybody, but uh, nope, just got the one fish with it. Huh. Okay. Alright, well that's one less gator. This battle should be over, but I fucked up. I am not using more magic. I'm going to fight these assholes. I'm not using more magic. Oh, come on, Tella. Get in the game. Alright, Porum, you're not really doing much better here. There we go. Alright, that was horse shit. Do better than me. Okay. Tella and Cecil and Yang gained a level. Good stuff. Okay. Going to the right this time. Yang should be able to one-shot these guys. Excellent. Awesome. There we go. He'll never get the chance to cast that. It's okay. This should be game over. Oh. Damn. That was kind of a waste. Oh well. Hmm. It's okay. We're very close to a room where we can use a tent. Shit, she gets to go first? Game over. Don't think you're gonna get a chance to do that, but I'll cast it anyway. Oh, she did get a chance to go. Okay. 
I'm surprised this battle isn't over. Tella's gonna mop up for us, though. in the box. Hermes shoes. No reason to go to the left, it's just an empty room. Same old strategy, we're gonna have Yang take out the guy in the front, Bolt 2 will clean up the rest, and we'll be out of here before you know it. is really loud. I mean, at least my neighbor's not mowing his lawn. There was a stretch there where every time I tried to play games on YouTube, my neighbor would just start mowing his lawn. It's like he knew. Okay. Wish I could mow my lawn, but some dickhead stole my fucking lawnmower the other day. <laughs> Bad ass, we learned Cure 2 with Cecil. That is great. Okay, remember, just like before, these guys can cast Mini on you, they can also cast Piggy on you, so we're gonna try and cast Silence the second we can. Yang should be able to kill one in one shot. Oh no, almost out of magic. Not what you want to see. Oh great. Okay, we got rid of one. Where's Minnie? Is that white magic maybe? There we go. There we go. Come on now. Let's go, Tella. Kick ass. Okay, through the hole in the wall. Fucking stuck in the wall. Oh, that's because you can go up? I didn't even go up. There's nothing up there. Alright, that's how I got stuck in the wall. Okay, over to the left, I believe. Yeah, we want to go left. This room over here allows you to uh, use a tent, and we're going to do that. And I've been playing this game for about 50 minutes now, so I'm going to say that's enough. Coming up, we're going to uh, end up in Castle Baron, and we're going to be able to loot a little bit. We're also going to have a couple of boss battles. We're going to uh, we're going to talk to the king. A bunch of stuff's coming up here, but for right now, 
I think I'm going to call it quits. We um, all but finished the ancient waterway. We um, talked to all the people in Mesidia. We found out what's going on with Sid. We know what we need to do now. We need to rescue him. There's going to be a new version of an airship that we're going to be able to get. And we're going to be able to fight back finally. So lots of good stuff coming your way in Final Fantasy IV. This here was part seven. I called this what? What did I call this? The Return to Baron? Seems accurate. I'm here, aren't I? So uh, let's see. Let me save my game, and uh, yeah, I guess that's it, really. Let me save my game. I'd like to say thanks, you guys, for everybody tuning in to watch me play Final Fantasy IV. I hope you guys are enjoying the story so far. I hope that this is entertaining, and if it is, like, comment, subscribe, share this video around. Let other people have some enjoyment, too, in their lives. You can never spread too much joy. All right, just going to check my status here. Nobody's even close to leveling up. Which is fine. We've got a couple of boss battles coming up, but I think I'm in a good spot. I'm not. Uh, I'm not worried. I'm not going to grind or anything before we get there. But I'm also not going to spoil anything. We've got plenty of shit coming up, and I hope to see you guys all there in part eight for more Final Fantasy fun. Till then, take care, you guys. Bye.